If you search up Isaac on YouTube, you will find a super interesting channel with only three videos. All of them went viral and reached hundreds of thousands of views. In this video, we will discover the secrets behind this editing and recreate the core parts of a style in DaVinci Resolve. Stay until the end because I will reveal the most important aspect to create such viral videos which get the viewers totally hooked. One of the most obvious things Isaac does is using a personalized avatar to give the viewers someone to relate to. And it is quite easy to make one yourself. Head over to your favorite stock image site or dress up and take some photos yourself. Then erase the head and place your avatar head instead. In the last step, remove the background. I generated my avatar with AI. You can use Adobe Firefly or Midjourney, or if you need a free version, use Leonardo.ai. When you have created your set of avatar images, you can head over to DaVinci and drag it into your timeline. To make things feel less static, Isaac animates elements with a floating style. Because we don't want to do this manually for every single visual on screen, I will show you how to save it as a drag and drop effect. So make sure your playhead is over your clip and head over to the fusion page. Don't worry, we will just need a single node. Press shift space and search for camera shape. Select this one and place it in your node tree. Hold down the shift key and drag it between these two nodes. Copy these values and tweak them if you like. Then right click the camera shake node and create a macro. Give it a name and check all the boxes you need. Then click on these three dots at the corner and save it. One of the easiest ways to improve your viewers retention is using captions. But to ensure they are readable when they appear fastly animated on different backgrounds, we can't just use plain text. Isaac mostly uses bold white letters with quite thick borders and a subtle shadow. Go to effects and in the titles category, drag the text plus note into your timeline. Then change the font and I will use Montserrat in the extra bold edition. Then go to the shading tab and on the shading elements, select element 2 and check the enable check mark. And scroll down a little bit and change the color to black and the thickness to 0.15. The next things I like to do in the fusion page. So click this little icon. I will close down the spline and I will add a drop shadow between these two nodes. I will change the drop distance and the strength and change the blur like this. And to make the text pop up at the beginning of the animation, I will get a transform node and on frame 5 I will change the size to 1.13 and animate it. On frame 10, I will change it to 1. And on frame 0, I will drag it all the way down to 0. Then I open up this blind, click this button. And with all keyframes selected, I will press S. Then we can head over to the settings and click the check mark on motion blur and increase it to 5. And now we can head back to the edit page and our text effect pops up. We have big borders and a little bit of shadow. There's one thing on Isaac's channel which is super consistent. It's this glowing orange color. And after setting things up we can use it on different things like text or icons, for example the hook I used in my intro. In the fusion page add a background node and connect it to a media out. Then go to Type and change it from Solid Color to Gradient. For the Gradient Type, change it from Linear to Radial. Now you can move this point somewhere to the middle and change the two colors of the gradient. Select a yellow one and select a red one. Like this. Maybe change the yellow one to a little bit of a lighter yellow. And if you click into this gradient, you can add new points to change the distribution of the colors. And if you add a text node and connect it to the background, 
This text node has the same colors as our background. You can move it around and you can see it changes colors according to the gradient. I will change the size and to make it look even better, I will add a soft glow node, decrease the gain and I will add a normal glow node and decrease the glow here too. And if you want to change it from a text to an icon, you can disconnect the text, go to your media pool, drag a PNG image into your node graph and connect it to the background. Now you can see the PNG image has the same colors as our background. And if you want to change it from yellow to more of an orange color, you can use these proportional triangles to change the gradient. For example, like this. So we have captured some of the outstanding editing techniques of Isaac, but the most important aspect, which separates his videos from the dozens of other well-edited but failing videos, is packaging. He takes information which is already out there and delivers it with great storytelling, a well-rounded brand, and retention capturing editing. And if you want to take your next step to succeeding on YouTube, watch this next video.